Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my English class. Our topic for today is about biases and propaganda. Propaganda is a way of wording or structuring something so it appeals mostly to emotion and it distorts facts. It is also used to promote one-sided argument aimed at winning people over to a certain cause or belief. There are 10 types of propaganda. First, we have loaded words and phrases or emotional appeal. It uses buzzwords which creates certain reactions in the audience without thinking. So if we see the word sale in the mall or a buy one take one promo, it appeals to audience that even we don't need something, we go to the mall and buy something. Second, we have name calling or demonizing the enemy. It is an attack on a person instead of an issue. Attaching a word to a person in order, in order to take advantage of the word's emotional meaning. It usually happens in electoral debates like what we had during the 2016 um, presidential debate between Binay, Duterte, Po, Rojas, and Santiago. Third, we have euphemism. Euphemism is the opposite of the name calling. It is using words that make harsh or bad things sound not so bad. So instead of saying, my friend died, it is better to say, my friend passed away. The fourth technique is the bandwagon technique. It encourages people to do something because others have already joined the cause or participated in the action. Here we have a confused man and on the other side we have other people or group of people showing that it is better to take this particular action. Fifth, we have what we call testimonial. A testimonial provides a source to give credibility to or support a statement. For instance, a skincare product usually um, uses beautiful models with fair skin. Or better yet, uh, a beauty product can show a before and after effect. The sixth one is what we call transference. It tries to transfer the authority of one person, product or organization to something or someone else. For example, a dentist would promote or speak about toothpaste product. Or a person who uses a hair grower product. Seventh is fear. Fear is an appeal to fear that a certain disaster or tragedy will occur if certain action is not taken. Sometimes the warning may be legitimate, but if warning lacks proof, it can be a propaganda. An example would be health effects of pollution. So if we continue to pollute our air and water, and even our soil, it can have an effect like headache, fatigue, cardiovascular illnesses, respiratory illnesses, gastroenteritis, cancer risks, nausea, or skin irritation. Number eight is stereotyping or sweeping generalization. It is lumping all people into a certain group without any regard for the individual. For example, 
the Palmolive commercial generalizes that women using um, Palmolive shampoo would have long black hair. Or the use of face masks generalizes that people won't get COVID-19. And the last one, an advertisement of Dunkin' Donut having Derek Ramsey, Ding Dong Dantes, and Piolo Pascual generalizes that all people eating donuts are handsome. So that is lumping all people into certain group without any regard for the individual. So you're already stereotyping. Number nine is repetition. Repetition persuades someone to buy something by repeating a message over and over again. Commercials in television persuades people to buy a product because of its repetitive showing of the product on TV. Like the Buona Kid milk product and the pride detergent of Mas Puti Ito. The last type is what we call circular arguments. Circular arguments states a conclusion as part of proof of the argument. For instance, we say women are strong being. Women can raise a child or children all by herself because women are strong being. Women can bear the pain of giving birth. Because women are strong being. Or women can do multitasking because women are strong being. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.